Hello students, Namaste. How are you all? Hope or if you are well. Actually, today we are going to discuss class six science chapter number four, sorting material into groups. In the previous video, I had explained you about the different type of objects like opaque, transparent, and translucent. Today we are going to discuss some of the properties of the object. That how are these objects? Because in this chapter, actually we have to discuss about the materials. how to sort it how we can sort the materials as yesterday as in the previous video i had explained you about that uh, how to understand that this material can be distilled this material can be filtered or this material can be opaque transparent and translucent translucent similarly today we are going to discuss all the properties of the materials and today this will be the last video of this chapter sorting material into groups as all the three chapters and this is the fourth chapter properties of material topic in this topic we are going to study about the nature of the object as in the previous video i had informed you about the objects which are specially opaque object means the ob objects which do not allow the light to pass through it is called opaque object as for example table chair wood or any wall anything which do not allow the light to pass through it is called opaque object similarly the second thing was transparent the object which allowed the light to pass through it is here is one object in this object the light is passing through it so this type of object is called transparent object and finally i had informed you about the translucent the object which allow only partially light to pass through it partially means the object which allow only half 50% light or 40% light to pass through it called what is called translucent an example i had given you butter paper or oil paper and today we are going to discuss the nature of the object which allow the heat and electricity to pass through it first of all you should understand what is the heat and you might have seen when your mama is going to cook a food that time what you see when she is cooking a food she first of all on the gas stove so when she on the gas stove you can see the heat right heat is a form of energy in because of that heat only that raw rice convert into the boiled rice but there is one major thing that we are going to study today that is called conductance of the object that which material allow the heat and electricity to pass through it if i talk about the aluminium so aluminium is a material because you can see nowadays our pressure cooker or that karahi and many other utensils which are specially made up of aluminium which allow the heat to pass through it but have you ever suppose that is this metal allowing electricity to pass through it means the material which allow heat and electricity both to pass through it is called conductor a material which allow heat and electricity to pass through it is called conductor and the material which do not allow heat and electricity to pass through it is called non conductor or bad conductor or poor conductor see there are three types of conductor as i have written on the board you can see good conductor poor conductor or semi conductor poor means you can say it is a bad conductor it is a non conductor it is an insulator so you can write here instead of poor conductor directly you can write its original name is insulator you can write here good conductor bad conductor instead of bad conductor you can write insulator and instead of good conductor directly only you can say conductor also okay so the objects which allow heat and electricity to pass through it is called conductor can you tell me some of the examples which material allow heat and electricity to pass through it so as i have informed you that especially about the utensils you can see or you can understand also that utensils allow the heat to pass through it but if i talk about the electricity yes you can say copper have you ever heard about a copper copper vessel or copper wire so you can see in the copper wire electricity can easily pass through it whenever you are means you are just joining any of the pop circuit point in your room or wherever you want to join the electricity point you can see especially we use copper wire so the metal or the material which allow electricity to pass through it is called what is called conductor as for example copper aluminium iron many more means the metals which allow directly understand the metals are good conductor of electricity 
so whatever the utensils we are using they are also made up of metal only so definitely you can say the material which allow the electricity to pass through it the material which allow heat to pass through it is called good conductor is called conductor now let us come to the point of insulator what do you mean by insulator insulator means bad conductor as here you can see good conductor similarly there is a bad conductor bad conductor means a material which do not allow electricity to pass through it so which material will not allow a material which do not allow heat also to pass through it as for example just suppose that i have kept something and heat can't be passed through it so that material will be known as bad conductor of heat and electricity if i suppose just suppose that one plastic rod is there in this i don't here something is there on the plastic bucket something is but plastic will be only one but it will not allow to pass it or you understand the material which will be burned but it will not allow to pass it so that materials are called insulators as for example wood if i just put a raw rice in the wood and i try to cook in that uh, wood utensil is it possible no it is not possible so remember dear students when any material which do not allow heat and electricity to pass through it is called insulator is called bad conductor but as for example i had already informed you about the wood plastic rubber bacteria these all do not allow the heat or electricity to pass through you may have seen that uh, in the cooking utensils wherever the handles are there they are specially covered with the insulators covered with the bacteria so the heat should not pass whenever your mama is catching the handle of a cooker you will see on the handle of a cooker what is there there is a black color something layer on there the black color bacteria is there since bacteria is a insulator bacteria is an insulator that's why it do not allow electricity to pass through it so remember dear student whenever anybody asks you about the conductor means good conductor bad conductor or semiconductor now we have understood about the good conductor means a material which allow heat and electricity to pass through it is called good conductor and a material which do not allow heat and electricity to pass through it is called bad conductor or insulator now let's talk about semiconductor semi means as we have yesterday or in the previous video we have studied about the partial passing partial means 50% let it be to pass as i had informed you about the translucent object means translucent object means an object which allow 50% or partially light to pass through it is called translucent similarly if i talk about the semiconductor an object which allow only partially heat or electricity to pass through it is called semiconductor if i talk about the silicon yes gallium germanium these all are the metalloids which allow partially to pass the metalloids means remember in which metal and non metal both are mixed as the metal and non metal both are mixed so metal properties are also there and non metal properties are the, also there metal properties all the metals are good conductor non metal properties all the non metal are bad conductor but if they both mix the means mixing character is there so conductor is also there and non conductor is also there bad conductor is also they may both mix so that's why when a material which is mixed by metal and non metal both characteristic so they allow 50% or they allow 40% electricity or heat to pass through it rest it does not allow so that type of material is called insulator sorry that type of material is called semiconductor the semiconductor means a material which allow only partially heat or electricity to pass through it is called is called what is called it is called semiconductor as for example silicon germanium gallium etc now after getting the knowledge about the conductor insulator bad conductor poor conductor semiconductor now we will move towards the magnetic properties of a metal there are specially two types of material according to the classification of magnet what is magnet can you tell me magnet is a substance which attracts the magnetic material right so similarly if i talk about magnetic material what will you answer it magnetic material means a material which attracts the magnet a material which has a property to attract a magnet can you tell me some of the examples which has a property to attract the magnet as for example if i talk about iron if i talk about co copper if i talk about any other metal which has a property to attract with magnet is called magnetic material if i talk about non magnetic material means a material which do not allow which do not 
allowed to attract with magnet or which can't attract the magnet is called non-magnetic material. If I ask the examples of non-magnetic material, if you take a magnet near the plastic, will it attract? No, definitely no. Means it is non-magnetic material. Means any material in which we take nearby that magnet of that material and if the magnet is not attracting then remember that material is non-magnetic material. So as we have seen magnetic material all the metals you can understand like just like iron, copper and non-magnetic material, plastic, bakelite, whatever which do not attract magnet. So as we have studied in this chapter from the beginning first of all we have gone through that how to sort the materials in different different properties as I have already informed you first time that we should separate the materials according to the uses. After then I have informed you we should separate the materials according to the physical state like solid, liquid and gas. After then I have informed you we should separate according to the properties of material. Just some are hardness, some are softness, some are soluble, some are insoluble and uh, some are opaque, some are transparent, some are translucent, some are good conductors, some are bad conductors, some are semiconductors, some are magnetic, some are non-magnetic. So all these properties specially describes about that how to sort the materials. Means whenever we are sorting the materials into the different groups, we must have these are all the properties in our mind so we can judge that this object should be kept there. So according to this property, these materials are being divided. So this was our chapter, class 6 science, chapter number 4, sorting material into groups. I hope all of you understand about these all the things. Whatever I have taught you in that all the four videos of this fourth chapter, if you still have any doubt regarding this fourth chapter that sir I have not understand that the how to short the materials. How you will understand that we will separate this material according to this property or according to that property. Related any of the topic if you are having a doubt, please drop your doubt into the comment box section so I can understand that my students are not understanding this type of properties of the material. So whatever the pro uh, properties I am going to give you, all these properties at once you should write in your notebook. So first of all we have started about the sorting materials into the different groups. As we have seen there are millions or billions of materials are there, different types of materials are there, millions different types of billions different types of materials. How we will sort these different materials according to the physical states, according to the color, according to the shape, according to the size or according to the physical properties physical properties like hardness or softness according to the soluble, insoluble according to the object which can float, which can sink all these properties whatever I had told you in the previous video or in the, this video you should remember, you must remember that how we can sort the materials into the different groups I hope all of you are understanding if you still have any doubt then please, please, please drop your doubt into the comment box section so I can understand yeah, my students are really having a doubt related if I talk about some of the properties, just like first of all, the physical state I have taught you, right? So the physical state, according to the physical state, what are the physical state? They are solid, liquid and gas. So according to the physical state, you can remove. In the physical state, I have talked about the hardness and softness. Hardness and softness. So according to that, you can just separate the materials. After that, I have talked about, tell me, after that, I have talked about soluble or insoluble. Soluble or insoluble in water. So remember if anybody asks you that these objects are soluble or insoluble, after that they can sink or they can float. Sink or float. After that good conductor or bad conductor. GC or BC. Good conductor or bad conductor. There are many more properties like they are transparent, opaque or Translucent. So there are many thousands of properties, but according to all these properties, we can arrange. Whatever the materials we are having the requirement, we will arrange according to that only. So this was our topic, sorting material into groups. I hope all of you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends also, so they can also enjoy. And one more important thing, if you are still having doubt, either in any of the chapter of six standard science, then please drop it down into the comment box section. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste. If you want to take a screenshot, then you can take a screenshot also of this whiteboard. So you will get an understanding that what are the properties of material like conductor.